Natasha, yes. thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'll keep I, it up. <laughs> but I'm going to let you down at the end of the week. Okay, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll focus on that later. I want you guys to play a game with me called Which Mountain Is This? Okay. Okay? So, mm. it... I mean, I think we can cross off Mount Hood. It's not that, because it's not super pointy. Shasta. Let's go Shasta. <laughs> we, that's right. It's our new California camera. All the way down Mount Shasta. No, I'll give you one more chance. Any clues? Any clues? Um, it's somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. It's Mount Adams. I don't Yes! Yes! You got it. See? Oh, because yeah. your name's in it. Yes, that's the only reason she put it on, right? Right, I was, that's right. what I was totally thinking of. I'm like, Adams here, put a Mount Adams, yeah. So this is from our Riverview Bank camera all the way on the Vancouver waterfront, zeroed in right there, Mount Adams. Looks pretty cool. 77 degrees right now, Portland. Wind is out of the northwest at 6, dew point sitting at 33. Sunset time tonight, 8.08. Hey, did you catch the sun halo? This was this morning captured by our own Josh Cozart up there. You know what they say about sun halos? What they say is, well, it usually means rain is on the way. And you know what? It's true. We are expecting rain in the forecast, so that's pretty cool to see. Thanks to Josh for capturing this moment earlier today. And it's also known as a 22 degree halo. So we have light that's refracted, reflected. These are tiny little ice crystals high up in those cirrus clouds. And indeed, it does mean rain soon. In fact, we're going to start to see rain as soon as we get to Thursday morning. So for your gardening forecast, tomorrow is your last dry day for a while. It will be a lot uh, cloudier too. Temperatures only in the mid 60s tomorrow. Thursday, we're at 57 with rain. Friday, oh boy, another soggy day out there. Hopefully you've got all your mowing done. You have tomorrow to still get it done before the rain arrives. Let's just talk about our stats for a second. I mean, we're kind of wrapping up the month here. We've been at 13 degrees, uh, excuse me, 13 degrees, 13 days above normal. Look at all those days in red. Yet it kind of felt like April was a little bit of a gray month. It just didn't produce a whole lot for rain. Take a look at our rainfall total, only at 0 0.62 inches. So right now we are below normal month to date by more than an inch and a half. Looking at your planner for tomorrow, no rain in tomorrow's forecast, just a lot cloudier and cooler. Daytime highs will be in the low to mid 60s. The weather pattern that's changing for us. That nice ridge of high pressure, it's moving on now. Next area of low pressure on its way in. So by Thursday morning, that's when you start to see some of your first raindrops. Even mountain snow expected for the Cascades. Those snow levels initially starting off pretty high, though. The amount of rain that we're going to see initially, just Thursday morning, it's just starting to trickle in, so not much to measure unless you're at the coast, close to about a quarter of an inch. But look at what happens when we round up Thursday and Friday. We could come closer to about nine-tenths of an inch or more if you're up there towards Longview, Tillamook, up through Cannon Beach, possibly upwards of two inches of rain. This is significant and certainly helps out the pollen counts. We're expecting much lower pollen counts by Friday, thanks, of course, to the rain coming through. Until then, you're going to be sneezing. <laughs> Seven-day forecast looks like this. Tomorrow, 66. Thursday, 57. And then we're hanging out in the 50s through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures in the low 60s with a chance for more showers. Ending the month of April. All right. Well, we could use a little of those showers for the Mayflower. Yeah, that's so All important. Right. Thanks, Natasha. Yeah. Well, coming up.